Hi there. Thank you for being here with me. I'm excited to be out here to do some um, card readings. I've been having plans for a while now to do card readings outdoors in beautiful places. And today I'm in Clatsop County. I'm at a place called Nat Creek. Um, it's known to anglers and people who like to fish. Um, it's a really, really beautiful and scenic area. I haven't been here in a couple of years and what's been disappointing to see is that people have been leaving insane amounts of trash here in this campground and it's just really disappointing because it's very beautiful. Um, there's also a beautiful place a little bit further upstream up the Columbia River or also known as the Michiwana called Beaver Falls and that's another really spectacular beautiful place that people for whatever reason go and dump insane amounts of trash. Seems like it's gotten worse over the last several years. I don't know what everyone's problem is. If you can carry all that shit in you can carry it out. But anyways that's my little rant. And now I'm here to do just a reading for us in the beautiful outdoors. What's going to come out? What's going to come out for us? in this setting, um, surrounded by beautiful waters and uh, just a really beautiful place. I got over my frustration with all the trash around here and then I had to try to get set up in a campsite area that had enough privacy um, that I could walk to but that wasn't full of trash. They've actually had to close all of the upper campsites because people are just vandalizing it basically. I walked up that way because you can still go on foot, you just can't drive and it, I was really, it made me want to cry. <laughs> so anyways, enough about that. Uh, what's just kind of a general reading for us? What messages want to come out in this beautiful setting in the outdoors? What might we, what kind of messages might, might we get out here? This is just going to be a general reading, kind of a mystery layout. I don't know what's going to come out. Hopefully my cards don't blow away. It's a little bit windy out here too. What's going to come out for this mystery reading? exciting cards here I just gotta say um, I love readings like this so in the center of the spread we have the strength card so you've been really having to engage your higher self quite a bit to get through whatever you're going through in life right now so the strength card isn't necessarily an easy energy to keep being in it requires a lot of overcoming your impulses, overcoming maybe some of your darker um, notions, right? But you're succeeding in it. Um, but you're having to kind of stand your ground as well because what's crossing the strength card is the seven of wands, which is a card of standing up for yourself, standing up for what's right, standing your ground. Um, that could be something like what I just did, where I did a quick walkthrough of this place and quickly realized um, this is not the same place that I was three years ago. It's, there's trash everywhere. It's been pretty disheartening to see. So I overcame my rage of, you know, whatever that might be to instead come here and speak my frustration. So anyways, in the higher realms, what's coming to you from the higher realms is the five of pentacles. So an acknowledgement that you might be worried about um, having some disappointment in your material world or being, having a feeling of everybody's going to succeed and move forward in their life. Not you though, for some reason, right? It's a card of feeling left out and potentially a feeling like there's no comfort for you anywhere, especially held against maybe other people in your life who seem like suddenly they're killing it, right? Um, oops, let me tend to this fire real quick.
so some just some acknowledgement from your higher power that you're uneasy about your current station in life right now in the in your material world um you've got some anxiety happening um and in the recent past you you had to kind of move on to some calmer waters so this would make sense with the strength card you may have had a moment of kind of i i need to speak up right now i need to engage this situation or this scenario right now and then afterwards you moved into a calmer waters or a calmer place after having taken a serious stand about something um, what's happening in the unseen is the wheel of fortune so you may not be aware of this you may feel like life is really putting you to the test after test after test and you keep succeeding and and connecting to your higher nature and not just doing whatever because you're going through a hard time what you're not aware of is that in the unseen you're about to have a major shift of fortune it's the wheel of fortune so this little five of pentacles worry or concern about your material stability or your feeling of inclusion in the world around you um, those worries are about to shift into a major change of fortune it's the wheel of fortune card so you're probably not aware of this you may be experiencing some of the frustrations that come from always having to take the high road for example if people around you might not be right and in the near future is the knight of wands so this standing your ground energy you're ready to keep carrying it forward you're ready to keep going to keep communicating to keep speaking your truth to be engaging your fire element right the knight of wands is a quick moving night so this could be someone rushing into you or it could be you rushing out to continue this work that you've had to do about standing up for something important this is where it gets really exciting because your greatest hopes and fears are that you're really wanting to come into a loving unified place with someone the lover's card so you may have had to um like you might have just wanted to go rushing towards this person and blow up their phone and declare your love and whatever but you've had to cool your jets you've had to rein in some of those desires for whatever reason but in the near future with the knight of wands you're about done with that reining it all in you're ready to charge forward and move forward with and this is turning into a love reading because your greatest hopes and fears right here is the lover's card. The energy coming to you from outside you is the sun. And this is really accurate for this reading and layout in particular. It's very beautiful today here in the Pacific Northwest. I live in the state of Oregon and it's a beautiful sunny November day here, which is what inspired me to get out and do this reading. Um, so the sun is lending itself the sun is also just joy the return of the light after maybe a dark time of standing up for yourself feeling frustrated having to move to calmer waters all the time well now the energy that's coming towards you is the sun so that's this is the kind of energy you want in your life you want this sort of levity lightness soulmate joyful fire energy compared connected to this lover's card it's really beautiful because what you're hoping for is the energy that's and the energy that's lending itself to you is the sun so it's really a beautiful this could be good news coming to you or just the the beauty of nature or or what you want this card coming towards you your greatest hopes are a commitment you want to lock it down <laughs> you want this relationship to move forward into a really serious place you're maybe not wanting to be just in your passions anymore you want to actually harness this into some kind of a commitment so um the the hierophant in this case would be a card of a commitment like a marriage maybe or just a decision that we're going to be committed to one another where the energy is headed is the moon so it might be a time of things not quite being what they seem so let's get some clarifiers here what's this major change of fortune and the lover's card here and the sun the commitment the moon wow and then right here we have the page of cups and the high priestess so something you're doing you're in harmony with your higher self 
um, you really got your intuition engaged, you might be having trouble trusting it a little bit with this Five of Pentacles, but don't you worry because this is, this, it's also a little bit of acknowledgement from the higher realms that you've been through a lot and you've been pretty put to the test about your, your material world and your life in the 3D. So what's this Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers card? Let's clarify these cards here. What's happening with this? The Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're engaged in your heart. The Emperor, really beautiful. And the Wheel of Fortune again. So something is about to break open for you, Queen of Cups. And it has to do with this love interest. Your Emperor, he's potentially going to come forward and communicate with you with this Knight of Wands in the immediate future. You kind of need to buckle up and get ready is the energy I'm picking up. What about this moon card? Why the moon here? What's happening with the moon? It's a beautiful card, but it can sometimes indicate confusion or illusions or something. So it might have a little bit of a caution that things might not be what they seem in the outcome. I don't know. Let's check. What's the story with the moon and the outcome? Your three of pentacles, page of cups, and the world. This is fucking amazing. So this spread, it's like it's been wanting to come out and I've been experiencing a lot of frustration all morning trying to get all of this to line up to be able to do these readings out here. And I started worrying, like, why? Maybe these readings aren't even going to work. Maybe my audio is going to fail again, right? Well, my God, as soon as I sit down to read these cards, it's like this message just wants to come pouring out. So I really hope this is um, your reading and that you're getting it and that you get excited because we've got the world card here clarifying the moon, the page of cups. So that can be like a loving, cautious offer from someone to collaborate, to join forces, to build something new together with this Three of Pentacles. This is a card of cooperation and coming together to build a new reality, a new world with this World card um, and this Page of Cups card and this Moon card. Things might It might not show up in the way you expect. What I'm guessing here is that this Page of Cups element might surprise you. You might expect kind of more of a knight of wands like a casanova like a really um player almost kind of energy and then he shows up like a page of cups instead maybe a little bit more vulnerable than you're expecting um let's get some more cards though i feel race like i want to race forward this reading makes me want to um go running through the streets or something. I don't know what it is about it, but it's got a really exciting energy, fast moving after a time of some doubts and some healing maybe, and some standing up for yourself. Now there's some major things because you've done that. There's major change in fortune coming for you with this lever that you're wanting to commit to. He's going to show up here. What else can we know about this relationship here? Happy, happy in the reverse. So I have a feeling that this might be something to do with trickster energy. If I remember right, this card captures a trickster, which might explain some of this moon. Lighten up because this is the time to be ridiculous and silly. See the world through the eyes of a clown and don't take yourself or any situation right now too seriously. Have fun, be playful, and make laughter the order of the day. You'll be surprised by how everything just seems to fall into place when humor leads the way. Being happy and lighthearted is a wonderful icebreaker. Life is meant for play as well as work, for laughter as well as tears for celebration as well as focus. This is like a continuation of the last spread I just posted from home. It's an inner child reading. So there might be a message for that inner child reading for you too, because this is sort of a continuation of that energy. 
Spirit wants to sparkle through you today. Smile and enjoy each breath and each moment. Miracles lie in the silly things. So you're really being encouraged to embrace this change that's coming for you. The Wheel of Fortune twice, this is no joke. The Emperor to the Knight of Wands to the Page of Cups, this person is gonna show up in a way for you that you may not expect. This happy, happy card encourages you to get excited. You can trust that it's happening. Get excited about it. And what's the other advice here? 49. It's observer. Sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way. <laughs> That's funny, I'm out in the forest. Feelings can get all jumbled up and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Take time out before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself, in others, and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. So that speaks to this moon here. The moon means that it might not show up as it seems or things may not be as they seem. So this five of pentacles, worry, the kind of fatigue that you might be feeling from having to be strong all the time. It's saying it's okay, just take a time out, breathe, watch and wait what's coming for you because it's all going to change. You don't have to do anything extreme. Just get excited about it and know that it things may not be um, what they seem. Like for example, well just what it says. If you are about to have a conversation with this emperor, this knight, this page energy, it's around love, it's about sun, it's about commitment, it's about all of that, right? But because there's a lot of emotion present and a lot of excitement, you might have to be cautious about how you interpret what this person's telling you or how you might have to remain aware that you may be misinterpreted. So that's a caution, but it's a very minor caution compared to all this. It's just to know that there's big energy, big energy happening. Um, I'm going to read here now just a couple of my cards. What else should we know about this layout here? What else should we know about this relationship and this um, moving forward, this major change of fortune that's coming? What are some words to go with that? from chaos to order, from having to keep engaging your strength, being strong, taking the high road, moving to calmer waters all the time, from all of that energy into a new order, a new world, a cha major change in fortune. I'm all charged up. Sing to clear your throat chakra and lift your spirits. So that happy, happy, like that can also clarify your throat chakra. So potentially it can um, reduce the chances that there might be some confusion here in verbal communication by singing and clearing your throat chakra that can help that show up in boots ruin a black tie affair friends in low places get excited this is all coming for you you don't have to worry about propriety you don't necessarily have to worry about this five of pentacles nothing it's all coming it's all really really exciting um, I'm going to pull a plant since we're out here in nature and they, this card spoke of the forest. What's a plant energy that can be adding itself to this reading? Or what's a plant energy that captures the soul of this relationship? What's a plant companion have to say in this circumstance? Kelp, wonderful. And we're right on the water, so we're not far from the coast. Um, a lot of people harvest kelp up north from here on the peninsula. So kelp, um, 
I'll post some more about kelp in the comments because I don't want to pull the book out right now and read about it, but there's, I'm sure, really beautiful information about how kelp energy can apply here. Um, it's very nourishing. Um, it's like a superfood almost. So nourishment is going to be involved in some way in this, in this relationship. And bee balm, healing, bee balm is very healing, but let's also, I'll, I'll post some written facts about bee balm and about kelp in this video's description box to help uh, understand. And maybe just some last hidden truths here. What are some hidden truths that you might get to hear about or know about here? I have this beautiful barred owl wing. Um, a friend of mine reclaimed a barred owl that had been hit by a car and it was deceased on Highway 30 and I had a friend go out and, and claim, reclaim it, pull it off the road. Um, so this is, I just wanted to include those feathers. My life is not as together as it seems. This card came up yesterday. So I do think this is a continuation of your inner child reading that I posted yesterday. So you might want to check that out. So that might be some of this five of pentacles, right? You've been struggling. You've been up against it. Um, you've been really having to engage your high road type energy. But my, it feels like my life isn't as together as it seems. That might explain a little bit of this chaos from the page of cups to the Knight of Wands, to the Emperor, right? That's a lot of changing masculine energy. I feel you even though we are apart. This person loves you. This person is connected to you spiritually as well. I will wait for a sign from you. So you might... Um, I, I, I see that here with this Five of Pentacles that this person might be working up, making a move, but they might be kind of waiting for a sign. So I'm going to wrap that reading up for now. And I'm going to get ready here to do another layout for us. Um, maybe I'll just pull one more tarot though, because this reading has me really excited. I almost don't want to put it away. It's so beautiful and good. <laughs> um, What's a final tarot card to kind of wrap this reading together? What's a final message here from tarot? On the bottom we have justice, so things being made right things coming back into balance. You had to move to calmer water. Things are about to be, feel a lot more fair to you, Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups. You're going to have options, Queen of Cups. So you're going to have a lot of different options about how to approach this. Um, you want to really be respectful when you have a lot of choices. Um, make sure that you're approaching all of those choices responsibly and be aware that there's a little bit of vulnerability here for cross signals or cross communication. So singing and doing something to clear your throat chakra can help prevent any misunderstandings. The devil, <laughs> the devil here with the strength card. So any sort of lust or passion involved is going to be transmuted for the greater good, but it's a, it's a potent energy that's present. So you do, again, want to watch out for making sure you don't get your signals crossed with this person when this communication comes through. Anything else about the communication? Six of Swords. So this person and you maybe are still moving to calmer waters. That's what's wrapping up. It's in the recent past. What's coming is the Knight of Wands. So very beautiful exciting love reading to come out this was a mystery reading and it became a love reading about your emperor so i really am excited for you the excitement of this reading is contagious so if you'd like to um, like and subscribe please do hit the notification so you get updated when i'm posting new spreads and thank you for being here and thank you for supporting my work. Um, I'm gonna kind of 
cleanse this energy and then I'm going to come back to do another reading here for us. Thank you.